show no willingness to engage on serious policy. Where then does that leave Democrats? Alicia, where it leaves Democrats is doing what the American people want. The, uh, as your show pointed out, infrastructure, child care, these are extraordinarily popular programs that have support from Democrats, Republicans, independents, expanding broadband to rural America. The president's priorities have broad support, and we're going to get them done. Ultimately, that's what matters. A new morning consult political poll found that the majority of voters support that infrastructure plan that you were just referencing. However, Republican lawmakers are claiming that the scope of the bill is too wide because it includes money for things like broadband access, as you said, energy efficient housing. What do you think it's going to look like for this bill to make its way through Congress, Congressman? Lisa, first of all, I'm happy to have that debate with Republicans. Are they really saying that broadband access to rural America is not infrastructure? Are they really saying that the smart grid and having new energy is not infrastructure? Are they really saying that we shouldn't be thinking about how to prepare for a modern economy? They will not win that public debate. So uh, I believe that this will pass. As the president has said, he's hopeful that Republicans will see the light, see the polling, and support uh, these measures. But if they don't, uh, we will support it and pass it as Democrats. And that's uh, unfortunate, but we have to get this done for the American people. President Biden signed an executive order setting up a bipartisan commission to study reforming the Supreme Court. What are you hoping arises from that commission? And does expansion of the court seem possible given the political climate? Well, I really applaud the president for keeping his promise. He said he would do this in the campaign. Uh, he's delivering on that key campaign promise. I actually think that what we ought to have is term limits for Supreme Court justices. I have had a bill uh, calling for term limits, 18-year uh, terms for a Supreme Court justice, and then they can go serve uh, on a circuit court. Uh, I believe that is constitutional and, and can solve this issue without being ideological. Congressman, kind of, how do you balance pushing President Biden to embrace and act more progressive policies? There's a push even on this infrastructure deal to include some more progressive elements, while also maintaining the sense that Democrats, as a party, are very much in array, if you will. Alicia, we can do uh, both. So, for example, I'm working with Senator Schumer. Uh, on endless frontiers. It's actually a bipartisan bill, up to $100 billion for industries of the future with Senator Todd Young and Representative Gallagher. That's something that we believe will pass. That's a bipartisan bill that has broad support in the caucus. At the same time, uh, I'll be chairing a committee to make sure we don't have fossil fuel subsidies. That's a key priority supported by Americans, but may not have bipartisan support. So I think we, what we have to do is look for bipartisan support where we can get it, uh, but not uh, always expect it and do what we believe is right to build this country for the 21st century. Congressman Rokana, thank you for being our guest tonight. And also, maybe it seems your own camera person. I really appreciate